So I'm just going to give you my brief thoughts on what I think of Southgate's provisional squad. He's named 33 players, so seven will be dropped out. It was a big call, but there was no place for Rashford and Henderson. We already knew Phillips wasn't in there. That is a big call from him because people suspected Henderson to be around there. We know him and Rashford haven't had good seasons. Henderson's been injured. We know he went to Ajax on the back of his move to Saudi. And there was pressure on him. But I like what I see because the squad overall is a mixture of experienced players, informed players, young players such as Warburton, Watson, sorry, from Palace. I don't think he will get in, but it gives him a feel of what it's like to be around an international squad, to be around players going to a finals, away from his teammates. Kwanzaa from Liverpool again. He's had a good year. I didn't expect to see him, but there's a lot of competition. But at least now it gives him an idea of what he's up against. We know Conza's in there from Villa, Gooey, Dunk. They were all playing to be them centre-backs behind Stones and Maguire. A few are still biting the barrel about Maguire being in there, but his experience on his day, he can still perform well for England. Braithwaite's another one. He gives us options at left-back, as I said elsewhere. He's already said Southgate sure it's going to be a hit and miss if he's fit or not. But again, it gives him that idea. Time to look at him to see if we can get him in. The four keepers are the four I predicted, although I expect Trafford to drop out. But again, he was with the under-21s. At some point, he probably will in the long run get into the senior squad. So it gives him a bit of opportunity to be around and learn a thing or two from the experienced keepers. See where he has to go on. I know he's back in the Championship with Burnley at the moment. So it gives him a few... Points get his confidence, get his game. If Sior don't play, expect Trippier to start. Walker's in there as well. Who is probably alongside Stones, the most experienced defender. We've got Joe Gomez, who gives alternative positions as well. Now midfield, Trent's there. Trent can always drop to right back if need be. Bellingham on the back of a great season at Madrid. Conor Gallagher, Curtis Jones. Again, I know he didn't mention I didn't expect him to get in. Some Liverpool fans rate him, some have said he hasn't, but at least, again, Southgate can have a look at him, see what he brings. I don't expect him to get the final squad, but it gives him something to build upon. A few Liverpool fans have gone mad at social media because Harvey Elliott's not in. Surprised if you look at Harvey Elliott's appearances this year, a lot of them have come off the bench now. He would make a good sub I just think it's just a bit too soon for him. Manio's in from United. Again, he's broken into the team this year. He's got technique, he's got skill. I wouldn't expect him to start, but he's around there. Whether Southgate takes him, that could be the wild card. He has, he has got to lose seven. Now, in attack, we know Kane's going to be the main striker. Bowen, Erzy. You've got Palmer, Sacco, Tony Watkins. Gordon, who can play left back. Obviously, Foden in, in there, who we know he's going to start. Madison, Saka. For me... If he's going to drop seven, I reckon two will come from there. That won't make it. And I'm good to see it easy. As I've said, his form's good. Gordon, I think, will be kept him because he gives, again, options at the back. You need a few utility players. Players that can, if need, be thrown in the deep end, can play in alternative positions. I think Watkins getting, which makes me think it's between Tony, Bowen for the other one. It'd be stupid not to play Palmer. Really, I do expect him to be in, but as I said in the other video, his form hasn't been too good, and the same goes for Madison. Kane will be fit, Kane will be there, there's no doubts about it. So we'll see the two friendlies and see which 26 players make it. Overall, I'm looking at a squad of youth players, a squad of players with experience, a core squad of players. That team is good enough to score far in that tournament. If set up correctly, that team can match anyone on its day. And that attacking lineup is scary because there's goals in half of them attackers. Goals in the midfielders and defenders there who are more than capable of standing their own against some of the good attackers from other teams. I'm Tommy Oldham. Keep the faith. See you on the terraces.